Hey everybody, uh, new geoengineering video, um, I know it's been a little while, I'm taking, a, I've been taking a break from going, uh, apeshit on these YouTube videos, uh, school has been super busy, I have finals coming up, um, and I've just got project after project after project and paper to write, so I haven't been, uh, making these YouTube videos nearly as much. Like, I had this one sitting around for, like, um, a few weeks. So, these these series of videos are taken from March 24th to March 30th. Um, <coughs> and these are some these are some bad ones. You know, I always say that these are bad, and, I, you know, I've always seen worse. I, I've, I've seen so much worse, but, uh, you know, it's always bad. It's always bad regardless of how long... Uh, you've been seeing these things and how long you've been tracking them for because it's every day is a new day every day is a brand new day um, to look up and see a blue sky so we've been pretty lucky out here actually in uh, in southeastern Pennsylvania for um, the weather uh, but not completely free of these I mean they do spray every day it's just it really depends on uh, the atmospheric conditions, uh, wind, all that type of stuff, because you see them out there, and you, <coughs> when it's nice out, and they're putting a brand new layer of uh, aerosol on the ozone, um, you can see, you can see them starting to, when when it starts to stack and stack and stack over the, over the next few days, but um, anyways, let's let me get on with some of this stuff, so. You know, the thing that's going through my mind, I have a lot of things going through my mind right now, but, uh, you know, I'm really wondering, with the the look of the sky and the sun, you know, are they, I wonder, are, are they or is something trying to change the actual color of the sun? Because the sun does not seem yellow anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I... When you look at it in the video, it's like, yeah, that that looks, that doesn't really, uh, that it's more of the clouds that's making it look yellowish. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that dirty cloud look. Um, but uh, when you look at the sun, though, it looks white rather than it does yellow. And that's even in, like, the blue sky. It looks more white than yellow. And maybe it's just my own imagination, but I remember the sun looking a lot more yellow or golden, or however you want to describe it, than, than it does now. Like, now when you see it, it just kind of looks white. It just looks like a white... I don't... It, it's just so strange. It's really hard to describe. Like, when I see... When I, when I go back to, like, when I was a kid playing soccer or whatever, and being outdoors and playing, like, I remember a, a yellow... A, a pretty prominent yellow sun. Um... And not this, like, white, it's a very intense sun, like, you can't, you know, and, and I know I'm going to sound stupid, but you can't really look at this sun, you know, like, it's a very, it's really, it's, it's like blindingly bright white. It's like looking at a regular light bulb in your, in your uh, house or something, you know, those white incandescent bulbs. I remember it being a lot yellower, so maybe that's just me thinking that. Um, but even when it's just straight up blue skies outside, it's still white. It still it still looks very very white. Um, and these videos, like it, it, you know, the cameras the camera is not reflecting this perfectly. You know, and I'll I'll admit at sunset the sun looks more yellow than it does at around noon or whatever. Um, but you know that that's sunset. You know, sunrise and sunset. It's a different different way of looking at it. Uh, it's further away. There's more atmospheric blocking and all that type of stuff. But I'm talking about on just normal normal days. Um, anyways, let me get let me get to what's being shown here on the video. So I I've been seeing. I I think the video already passed, but I've been seeing some very strange things in the sky um, since these since these videos and the the neck the the next series of videos that I have from the past few, past couple of weeks, um, I've seen two planes disappear um, right before me. 
uh, one, I have two two of those videos are on this on this one. The first one, like I said, I think I already went by. Uh, you can't what's because when I was filming the the plane, um, it like I you know I was on my camera and I was looking at it through my camera and when I went up to look for it to keep because it's so bright. Okay, because of all these white, it's all just a white fog mass that blinds you, all right? Because of all that white fog, it's so, it's so blindingly bright that you can't, you know, it's not like a blue sky where you can just look at it, look up, and just see things. It's all white. It's just so blinding that when I, when I looked up to find the plane, it was gone. And I was trying to, like, you know, move my phone to where I could record it, and, um, like, you can see on my phone that the the plane just edges off um, and goes off off camera and then I was looking up to look for it and I couldn't find it and it was the, because this is one of those low flyers and I'm always tracking the low flyers because they go every direction every which way and I don't know where they're going I mean there's you know how many airports are there around here that lands c these commercial uh, aircraft you know I, I don't know I only know Philadelphia and then there's a few like you know private uh, private uh, things that fly like the Cessnas, um, and then you know, there's the one air base that's out here, uh, but that's closed down. It's not even a fully operational air force base. So um, I was tracking it, and I was like, "Where is this? Where did that go?" And the plane just disappeared. So and and that's just in this video. I've seen two other planes in my past that have just straight up disappeared. And, uh, but it's because, you know, I'm trying to record video at the same time that it's not, it's not working out for me as easily. Um, the second one, hopefully I'll be able to catch it. Uh, the plane goes behind a tree and I'm recording it and I, I, I'm waiting for it to come out on the other side of this pine tree and it never comes out the other side. So, um... Yeah, I don't, you know, I, I know that these planes, there's something going on because uh, the the most convincing one that I saw was, I think it was like eight months ago, maybe six months, it was probably, I think it was like last summer, um, like ten months ago, I guess, but uh, it straight up just disappeared right before my eyes. I don't even know where it went. Like, it, it, there was, it left, it was one of those low flyers that doesn't leave any type of trail or anything, um, and it just disappeared. I don't know where it went. No idea what happened. So there's there's things going on up there that no one no one can even describe. Uh, all right. So it, hopefully you've been watching these. Uh, what's been going on here? There's a. I mean these these are very 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 thick uh, aerosol sprays right here. Um, you know, like I've mentioned, these are the ones that are getting caught up into the ozone layer. Uh, that's why that uh, you can you can tell the differences between that upper stratospheric spraying and that down low dirty type of type of spray where it's like a you know it looks like um, a plane just flew or a, a boat a boat leaving a giant wake right above you um, in the water or something you know just but these high flyers these ones that are leaving the uh, that are polluting the ozone layer. Um, injecting whatever it is that the, that's coming out the back of these things, aluminum, strontium, barium, lithium, whatever else, God knows whatever else is in those things. Um, you can tell them because those trails, they just sit there. They sit there for hours on end, and they, all they do is they just spread out like a web. Uh, oh, is this it? I think this is the video right here. So if you saw the plane, okay, you saw the plane flying, it's going to the left, okay, and I put my camera, because I knew, I know that, the reason why I'm watching these so much too is because I know that these things disappear, and that's why I'm recording them, and I put my camera right where the plane should have come out on the other side of this tree, but it never comes out, and I even go down a little bit, and I look up a little bit, I'm also looking with my, my own eyes, I'm just trying to hold my camera still here while I'm looking for it myself, and I eventually I just give up. I mean, how long are you going to sit there and look for it? Um, so that, that that was it right there. I'm pretty I'm I'm 99% sure that was the video because that um, yeah that I, I I whenever I'm tracking those planes go behind the tree, I always see them come out come out the other side. So I always do. That one did not. So that that's just one of them. See, there's another one. But that one, oh, and I've you know if you see these things, they shine. 
a lot of these planes, they like as soon as you look at them, the moment you look at them, they start shining. They start like reflecting some sunlight. And I know, you know, it, it's the sun, you know, it's reflecting sunlight, but it's always right when I look at it. And not only that, but it's also not where the sun is that the reflection comes from, if you know what I'm saying. Like, if the sun is directly above the plane, like, I'll see a reflection uh, coming from, like, the bottom tail of the plane. You know, like, just weird reflections coming off these planes. No idea why it's happening to that. I don't, and the thing is, some of these planes, too, I actually hear them. A lot of them, you don't hear them when they fly, but I'm talking about the low flyers, the ones that you should be hearing all day. Uh, I don't, I don't hear, I, I, I want to say like 50% I don't hear, and the other ones I do hear, but all of them have that weird, um, reflection, that light, that bright reflection that happens, like, right when I look at them. Um, and you can, you know, I'm getting really good at determining which, uh, chemtrail is which. You can, I'm starting to learn the different colors, those different tints they have, you know, you can definitely see the bright silver ones so the bright silver ones are the most i mean they're it doesn't even look like water I, like you know it, like how they claim it's a it's water vapor not i mean not even in the remotest dream would that be water vapor the silver i mean it looks like a piece of jewelry you know like a neck chain like a necklace chain just like in the design of you know um I don't know, like some like two streaks. It's just silver streaks in the sky. It's unbelievable. Uh, then you get like the light brown, the the light yellow. Uh, then you have like that um, those like fog machine ones that are just billowing out these giant puffs of of whatever it is, and uh, ones that make certain designs uh, in the trails. They leave like that like spiraling pattern. Yeah, you see like that one. Ref as soon as you look at it, they have this like reflection. I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, yeah, they are just, uh, they're, they are ruthless with this spraying. I mean, it seems like every single day there's more, there's more planes than there was before. And, I, and not up high, I mean down low. Like, I swear, every day I'm seeing, like, one at least one more plane that's like flying way below and i i just i'm like what are, what's going on here what are they doing you know wh where's all this air traffic coming from um why are they so low why and, and they're going all different like you see these those two that you know they were going to the left there that's um they would be going towards philadelphia so i mean that's pretty obvious but then you have ones that are going the opposite direction. You got ones going um, east to west. So I just, I really don't know where all these planes are going. Um, especially the, these high flyers. They, they're, most of them are going in a wester, westerly direction. So they're heading out towards western uh, U.S. or western Pennsylvania. Um, so uh, I guess I should say more west southwest but they are going everywhere though there there's ones going in all directions you know there's there's another low flyer um so you're going to you all are going to see something pretty disturbing coming up here uh these I've been noticing a lot of different maneuvers that these planes have been doing for a while I've been seeing them do uh uh just turn it just turns you can see them doing um, U-turns and, uh, you know, big, big adjustments to their flight paths um, just over me. You know, who, where are they actually going? Who knows where they're actually going? But, the, the, you know, when you see a plane make a U-turn, you got to question, what the fuck are you doing? Which, which, where are you going? You know, I know plane fuel is not cheap. You know, or whatever it is that they're powering these 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 planes on, because you know, I, I definitely don't think that they're all commercial aircraft. I'm I'm pretty sure that all these uh, aerosol spraying planes uh, are unmanned 
some type of aircraft, unmanned some somethings. So that that's what I personally believe, and I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Um, because when when you just count them down to the sheer number of aircraft, it's and this is just over a little piece of Pennsylvania. You know, this isn't. I'm not covering. You know, entire the entire state or like the entire tri-state area. You know, no New Jersey or New York. I'm just covering my little patch of ground. You know, like this isn't <laughs> this isn't even close to a significant area. So, um, one of that video with the U-turn is going to be coming up here, and it's very haunting because. When you see them make a U-turn, um, as blatantly obvious as this is, um, and it should be coming up pretty, uh, maybe in a little bit, it's just, what do you do? You know, what, I mean, in what, or what do you, what do you expect it to think? You know, uh, a lot of people make fun of the ISS and the space shuttle because, you know, they bring up these, um, they bring up all this stuff, like they bring up, uh, you know, costumes, like that gorilla costume. They bring up um, all this, all these toys to play with, and it costs like thousands and thousands of dollars just to bring up like a, one with like, like that gorilla suit in, the, in a space shuttle because you're you're launching a space shuttle to the ISS. None none of that is cheap, but like they can somehow ship up. You know these all all this extra stuff like you know and and the thing is like I laugh about that stuff because it's uh you know would you rather bring up a gorilla monkey costume and all this like you know they got all these toys or would you rather bring up like good experimental things like hey instead of that monkey like that fifty pound monkey costume maybe I should bring up like you know I don't know um, a telescope maybe I should actually like pack up a telescope. And then bring a telescope to the ISS, and then use the telescope there, you know, like or a pair of binoculars. Like who the f who the fuck are these guys? You know what what jokers? And all these videos are moving at two x speed too. This is all two times speed because they're all pretty long here. But um, I c I can't remember what I was going at with that whole uh um. Oh oh I so a plane making a U turn, the cost right, the turnover cost of having a having something do that rather than having it launch at a appropriate trajectory to go wherever it's going, wherever that plane is going. Maybe that plane is just going to, I don't know, New Jersey, but like you have, you're launching it and like, you got to do a U-turn at some point, you know, it's just, that's just unthinkable. Um, so is this it right here? This might be it. So, uh, because it looks like you can see this plane here making a U-turn. Okay. Um, always present. That white fog mass. It's always there. Always there. I, I, you know, I can't stand that stuff. I really can't because it's, it's not, it's not real. It's all fake. It's all artificial. It's just ridiculous. I, I really can't stand seeing that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the. I'm pretty sure that this is the video where you can see it doing a complete U-turn. I it might not be. Um, I've I've done I've been doing a lot of lot of watching, a lot of sky watching. Um, oh, okay, I, I think it is. Okay, so if you look at the upper left corner, right, you can see the trail. Uh, you can see the trail that it started from. Now look at that how it how it angles out. And you can see it now where the where it looks like the aerosols cut off where they stop spraying, that's like right at the major tur turning points, right? That first cutoff portion is uh, in the upper left part. That's where that, that big turn came from. And then you see it straighten out, and then you see that cut off, and then you see it turning uh, down to the left corner again, all right? That's that's a straight-up U-turn. Um, and I'm pretty sure he does another angled another angle after this. Uh, going, going, um, going to the left again, uh, but I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta, 
once once people grasp the idea of how far away these things are, how high up they are, right? Um, and when you're talking, yeah, see, you can see him. He's doing yet another turn, okay? You can see him going back towards that tree that's in the left corner there. He's actually, I mean, this is a legit, legit U-turn. Um, yeah, you can see him. He's going right back into that tree. You know, he can't. He entered. He entered the 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 frame above that tree. Okay, going along that tree, and then he just boom, you turn. You know, <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, you can see the ripples in the sky. A lot of my videos, they've been doing a lot of RF audio. I was actually outside when they started doing it. Um, I actually think those videos are coming up, and I was actually scared. Actually, I might be filming it right now, um, because I was watching this plane, and I just felt myself get really, like, my body felt agitated, like it was uh, filled up with, like, static electricity. Like, you know that that feeling you get when you're, like, in anticipating something, and you, but it's not, like, a happy thing? It's just kind of, like, in, it's just this, like, blank anticipation where you, like, you know, what, what is that? You know, it's that, like, electric feeling, but it's not a good electric feeling. And I just got that, and all of a sudden, like, you know, you feel, and yeah, it is, because right now I'm looking at the cell tower that's over there. Um, yeah, cause it is right now. Cause as soon as I saw that plane turning, you know, I was like, I, I felt that feeling, and they just started turning it on. And actually, if you can, if you're paying attention here, none of these ripples, okay, the very fine ripples were there a few minutes ago, they just started appearing, all right, if you look closely, I'm not talking about like those, uh, well, there aren't really those, those big, big rolling wave ones, but I'm talking about these fine little, little wave, uh, little, uh, um, wave patterns in the sky just appearing out of nowhere, so they literally turn that on, um, and I don't know if it was coming from that cell tower or somewhere else, but, uh, uh, Sam, look at those, look at those wave patterns, they came, those came out of nowhere, alright, I bet if you were rewound this, you wouldn't see those there before, so, um, yeah, and I felt the thing about this fog mass, alright, and I've said, said this plenty of times before, is that they, they, they generate heat, these are like, uh, heated fog, fog machines, these fog, this fog coverage it's it's like a it's like a, a heated blanket um if you want to use go for that like type of analogy like one of those heating blankets and you just and it's just basically a heating blanket for the sky uh for me i felt like once they turn on that rf i felt the heat all of a sudden intensify um on me like it was just crazy crazy hot all of a sudden and um, and that and that's what these that's what they do with these uh, fog masses, they heat them up and they just and that's global warming right there for you. That's how that's tricking people. And there's another plane just doing a straight up. It's not a complete U-turn. That's more of like a 90 degree turn. But you know we're I mean wh what's up with that? What's up with that? Are they are they are these guys actually? Do you ever see planes really do that? Like do you ever see your when you're flying somewhere? Do you ever feel like a 90 degree turn? No, not at all. Um, because you don't need to. You're traveling hundreds and hundreds of miles. You don't need to make these uh, sharp 90-degree turns within, like, I don't know, less than a mile. You know, like, this, that, that, that ain't going to happen when you're traveling. Not only that, but you're also traveling hundreds of miles an hour yourself. So, and, if, you know, some people say that we're traveling almost ni uh, 900 miles an hour in these, in these planes. So, and here I am. I'm comparing a, another part of the sky... Um, I think what I'm doing is I'm comparing, there's no ripples there, you know, there's no ripples, just a few degrees over, um, and then when you look at the other part of the sky, where, where the sun is, you see all those little ripples, all those little frequency, uh, um, uh, frequency indicators, those, uh, uh, RF indicators, those really f small wave-like patterns, right, you can, right, uh, you can't really see it there, um, yeah, you can kind of see it, kind of see it. But I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going in and out all, all over the place, so it, it's just 
it's just really it's just for me it's just obvious it's just looking trying to get as much as i can um you know I, I, these videos i i was really i was really in the mood uh in the mode uh or in the mood uh mode mood mood mode for uh watching the sky that this day because um I had my camera out, you know, I was, ho I was holding this thing up for like five, six minutes at a time, you know, just watching them, watching them just do all these crazy maneuvers, and, uh, they're doing it right now, as I speak outside, um, it's, it is really, really nuts how hot these, uh, these clouds make, make everything, um, they're not clouds here, this is, this is like a fog, this is like a fog mass, I don't know what to call it. Um, but the, um, yesterday, right, yesterday there was, like, almost no, no chemtrailing. You would see, like, these, those preliminary sprayers where, like, the, the chemtrail will only last for about, like, um, 20 seconds that follow behind it. Uh, and then, and that's, you, you can tell that's the beginning of a new, of a new, uh, series of, sprays you know th those are kind of like the preliminary sprays to build up a base build up something um for all the other stuff to gather up on and you can tell when it's a nice blue sky out and it's not completely covered in fog the the the, the heat the temperature is completely different completely different um it, it it's warm out all right but it reflects that springtime weather you see what I'm saying? Like it's it's warm, but it's also cool. Like if the wind blow, if there's a little bit of a breeze, it's a little bit of a cool breeze, you know. But when they have these when they have these fog machines, these heated fog uh, heating pads, rolling across the sky, um, temperatures jump to uh, about f 15 to 20 degrees, you know, on a typical day uh, during sp a spring day, you know, out here it's it's about 65. 68 degrees outside uh, with these fog machines you know it was getting up to about 80 degrees 85 degrees out you know in the middle of April you know at the end of March okay that's what these things are doing and like I always mention you know it, it people think that these are nice days you know because it's not I guess whatever it, I guess a nice day for people is like a day where it's not snowing and it's not raining is that right? I mean, am, am I getting that wrong? Because it seems pretty correct to me. You know, what people actually think of a nice day out is just as long as it's bright. As long as it's bright outside, because that's all it fucking is anymore. All it is is just bright as fuck with this white, um, these this white sun and this white fog mass. There's a good silver, um, that looks like a really really good silver uh, chemtrail right there. And you just see them. You know, th they make these patterns in the sky that look like. If you took the the parent uh, the uh, those parentheses right, you know how you can close something in parentheses. If you flip them over so that they're kind of like, you know, like the rounded parts are touching each other, they kind of make that shape where it's like two C's. If you took two C's and then flipped them so that they were touching each other on the on that curved part, you know, they make those they, they make those arcs on both sides of the sun, and then you have the ones that go straight under the sun. Um, so they make this like a straight line going down the middle and these two curved edges going out on the side uh, You can see that you can see that a lot with these patterns that they're making um, So that this is pretty much the close of it. Uh, I know this is the long one and sorry for not You know putting out videos as recently as I was for about a, a month there But I'm taking a break from all that stuff right now at least until school's over and then uh, I'll be getting back to it so um all right, everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, keep looking up. Keep looking up and keep talking to people because, you know, that's the most important part about this is communicating with each other and uh, informing new people. All right, peace, everybody. Peace and love.